Hey guys, it's Nira with another Death of Street video, this time with Xander Evelyn and Son. Um, I'm really excited, I'm so glad I got him. And he's got like, I can't remember what his IVs are. Um, I will check and it will say on screen what his IVs are. Actually, I'll have all their IVs in the merges too, so that people don't have to like ask in the comments. But I'm super glad I got him. Um, like, really glad. And yeah, like... It's a fine day. Let's go. Just really happy. Um, I'm a little sad because he's a kind of power creep, but like he is power creep. Like Dark Greatsword and the um, the Naginata are pretty kind of BS weapons, I think. Um, because you got like units like Corin or um, Durandal. Oh, Durandal got upgraded, but like Yato, like you know, it gets you four speed on initiation, but like like dark great sword is literally just like a hundred percent better like it's hit. kind of unfortunate like there should have been an upgrade yeah, for yato so. and a bunch of other weapons um but yeah there goes sander oh he's so great he's nice tanking player. the loot like Hot. like a perot um let's go I'm yeah i'm just where is this scene Let's Where is I love that so much. Oh, that's, I love this video. I love I love Xander and Seabird, man. Um, and Seabird is really interesting. I kind of just threw this build together really fast because I just was so excited for this video. Um, but I actually don't think renewal is a terrible idea. Um, I think desperation could have would have been fine as well. Um, but uh, maybe I was out of fodder. I'm not quite sure. Um. But I did finally figure out what his C skill does. So for those of you who didn't know, I thought it was saying like infantry and armor, people whose movement was less oh, yes. than two, but not flyers, would get the buff. But actually, it's if like of the four units on your team, if l two or less of the four okay. units on your team have the same type of movement. So if you have just like so on this team, I have three cavalry, so the cavalry don't get the his C slot buff. But Xan- but but Xander, that was not specific. But um, but Summer Xander, because he's the only infantry move type move unit, does get the buff. Um, so like it's it's promoting the mixed movement teams, which is so cool. I really love. I, I think that's such a great addition. Um, like maybe it didn't need to be six. Maybe it could have been five. But I think like the the idea of it is really cool. Um, it's and it's also like super good. So. Hopefully we'll see some units with these skills kind of as four stars available. Like one of the really great things about one of the previous banners was um, was Teltu, who has spur drive speed and rally speed and defense on a as a four star unit, and she has it available at five stars, which is like just so wonderful that IS did that. I think that like shows that they're not like totally evil. Um, I mean, obviously not even, but I thought that was like a really like nice, really great thing to do for the free to play players and also like people who are trying to, you know, just have like, you know, double rallies and drives on their C slots for scoring reasons. Um, so I hope we get more of th those, um, what's the line called? I totally just blanked. Tactic? Is it like a tax tactic or something? I can't remember. Um, I'm totally wrong. But like those, like Sigurds and Shiro's C skills for obviously resistance and speed would be that's gonna be really cool um and if those would be available on four stars that would be super awesome because i'm expecting saber and Shiro not to drop um drop in rarity which is like fine but like because it's especially fun given that this has been their precedent but anyways um yeah um i don't know what to say xander with um Deflect magic is like super thumbs up magic tank. Uh, he's just super thumbs up in general. Uh, he he's just what, what a wonderful character. Um, yes. But as far as the gameplay, yeah, um, this team Let's is like not a super great team. <laughs> like Let's like go. to be honest, um, it does okay. But like if I were getting if I got Reinhardt a lot, like Reinhardt is a huge problem, and especially because my Spring Xander has Fury, like. He's a really good magic tank, but he can't, like, tank magic users forever because he just runs out of, like, health because of the Fury Chip. So I think I might switch him to either close defense or, or distant defense. Um, I think, like, distant defense actually might not be a bad idea because I, I use him a lot as, like, a Reinhardt tank when I don't, when I'm not running Titania, which has been, like, most of the time nowadays. Um, 
So, yeah. One thing maybe I could talk about is, like, I put Drawback on Siegbert because I think of him, he, he's kind of, he's very similar to um, Brave Roy, um, in that he is a, a player phase offensive physical sweeper, and um, I almost, like, I, I almost, like, died there. I was like, oh no, the vantage, ah, uh, he's gonna die, but then he's like, wait, no, he's totally fine. What am I, what am I worried about? Um, just, what a, what a great guy. Um. But, uh, but so I put drawback on him because I, I put drawback on like all of my kind of, like because he's like a, a, like a player phase range sweeper, like I don't really want him to be doing stuff on enemy phase. He does have a solid 31 defense and 44 health. Um, I think actually he's plus, uh, plus HP yes. minus res. Um, but like because I don't super want him to be doing all that much on enemy phase because like regular Xander is just is kind of the, the one to go to for that um I put drawback so that um like like drawback is a more defensive um movement skill and reposition is I don't want to say more offensive but it, it kind of is more offensive like drawback is definitely defensive um and then reposition can be both the other thing about reposition is that like it exposes the unit that is casting the special to be possibly exposed depending on like how you're using it, and so I use it a lot as like rescuing units that have overextended, and so having um, having drawback on him instead of reposition makes a lot more sense. Um, uh, what, what do I do? I think Xander just kind of tanks up all the red units here, because um, obviously it's an all melee team, so like <laughs> it's <laughs> there's some interesting battles here, um, and then cavalry's ROP. That, I kind of got scared too, though, there. I was, like, worried that, um, they might, there might be some trouble here, but, um, cap again, cavalry OP, um, so, yeah. One thing I, I guess, while I'm using Summer Xander, as I probably could talk about, like, the Lilith floaty line, so, it kind of bothers me that Lilith Floaty and Hibiscus Tome and like the other weapons that came out on that banner didn't get buffed because like the um the Bridal Blessings weapons got buffed so now they give you plus five defense and resistance um to allies within two spaces as opposed to two and they also buff the user but like they just didn't give Lilith Floaty anything like why couldn't it have been like plus two attack and speed instead of just one I don't know like I, I I just I just wish they got an buff. Um, although I do suppose that the bridal blossoms weapons were less useful, um, way less useful than little floaty and um, and company. So there's that. Anyways, um, we get a lot of armor. Yes. Uh, Let's do this together. And there I was thinking he had reposition, so I could reposition him in range for little floaty, but it just didn't quite work. But it didn't matter. Um, Xander's like a good unit. I'm Sigbert. Yes. What do I what do I do here? Like it's not like a like, I don't get that many hard maps here. Um basically like when I was recording this video, I'm just like, please okay. give me like a seven seven team streak where I don't run into Reinhardt every map. Um yes. also Xander and Spring Xander have S support and Let's go. Summer Xander and Siegbert have uh B support, I think, right now. Um Dragon Fang does so much. Like, I kind of was not go. thinking I would use it at all, but with Quick and Pulse, it's actually like not that frustrating. Like, you actually proc in a reasonable amount, which is which is nice, obviously. So, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very pleased. So, I think this is the last battle. Um, and who do I get? Let's see. Oh, so we get Brydalyn, um, who is somewhat troublesome, but not quite. Reinhard is, is, is definitely a problem for this team. Um, so I'm putting him there so that she'll move on to the regular, the non-defense style, and then I can kind of swoop in with somebody else and finish her off. Let's go. A fine day. One thing I could have done, actually, is I could have moved... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I could have moved... 
swapped Xander onto the next tile so that his the unit attacking him wouldn't be on the tile, but he would have been in range of Fjorm and um, might have been weird. But anyways, that was the last battle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was fun. Like, this was so fun for me. This is just like, this is so close. This is very close to my dream. Um, and I'm, I'm so glad Seabird is here. And I'm so glad that the team can like actually do stuff. It's not enough to stay in tier 20, but it was really fun to do. So thanks for watching. And let me know what you guys think about Xander, Siegbert, the new units, Weapon Refinery. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching.